Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2022, 2021, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, all the way down. I've been there since uh, MVP 12 and merged with Sony. So here we are. I'm going to go over just the basics and do a little editing and show you what's going to happen. I'm using CyberLink screen recorder and my machine may slow down. I do apologize for that. Project name, project folder, the different uh, resolutions, the different frame rates, and the higher resolutions. And these are the options and the load files. If you've got a GoPro Hero 10 and you want to make 5.3K, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. By file, settings, go into the movie. Down here, you just simply type in 5312, <coughs> and you're able to create that GoPro size to work on. Go through the files, go through the edit, go through the effects, go through the windows, go through the shares, and go through the helps at your leisure. When you go into the files and the settings, and the program as it opens up you can change your folders where things are located change your video somewhere in here i could change my uh tracks how many i got on there nts and pal and i could change a couple of things and there is my little delay in the system as my mouse took time to move up your device options and then these are your graphic cards, and then you import and export. If I want to go and create a new project, I just click on this, control N, I can open it up, and so forth. If you see that uh, disappear, that's because the uh, actual program saved everything. Every three minutes it was saved. I may have to change that. I'm used to that when things crash on my machine. Here you got import effects, time lapse audio and store. They may be located as well in the tabs up here. Over here you got your new project as well. Open up a project and save your project. And over here you have switch to the interface for editing your disks, like on a CD or so forth and burning this and opening up a dialog. I won't get into those great details. Your display options. You like to see large icons, details, list, and then if you want to increase or decrease. This is the route where all your video, photos, songs, everything is located. Down here, you can see I got a title on the line. I'm just moving it up. And if I want to delete it, I hit the delete button. Do apologize again for the delay. Here you got storyline. It's going to change. You have scene overview. It just changed it a little bit differently. And then you got back to the timeline. And then over here you got your plug-in for multicam. Sometimes over here, it'd be located. If I right click on my picture, it's gonna bring up some information. My resolution presets are not high, they're set low. If I click on these two dashes, you can see I'm 100% standard two definition, so forth. And then my performance. So I can use my proxy objects. If I right click on here or here, I right click, I'm going to get into properties to show you that I'm working on 4K video. If I right click on here, it opens up to a couple of different things. Audio function, create waveform display. 
If I want to see the audio track, I just go into, I believe, File. I go into Settings. I believe it may be Movie. And I start to look, play Movie and Loop. Just, just start to read. Here's where I add my tracks and so forth. And here's where I change to that 5312. It's not in here, so it may be in the project. I can increase my line and my audio may show up. I have different things over here to do. I could mute my audio track. I can lock it. I can maximize my track. And I can minimize my track. That should mute my audio. Click it again, and it should unmute. I look for the dashes up and down. I click it, there's my sound. If I click the up dash, that will bring down my view. If I make a mistake, I come over here. I hit the undo, redo. And they all got dashes there, so you can open up. This is my split. In my templates in blue, my basic trans right here just grab any old one bring it between and I got my transition what could Welcome. it be it should automatically play for you you'll see Let's the transition go if I want to not have it I grab the video and again, I apologize for the uh, delay of CPU power. And I could bring it back in and create my own fade. These two and these two, they're minimized and maximized, but they also will incorrectly do that and open up the different things. So I click off the side, they will make it smaller and larger. There was my auto save. When I'm all done here and I want to save a video, I come here. I save my project. I want to uh, export my movie. I always do MP4. I used to do it WMV. In WMV, this is where everything counts. You go all the way up to 8K. If you want to make a video of the GoPro Hero 10, 5312, then you make your video. Let's go back into another setting just to show you that this program will not do it in MPEG 4, MP4. Let it open up, 5312. It will not support it. It'll only support up to 4K. Normally in these programs, you could uh, analyze things. You could do some advanced. You could change the bit rate. You could maximize it big time. And that's it. And you create your video and off you go. I just want to go and look into this one more time before I end the video because I've taken too much valuable time of yours. If I want to do HEVC, and that's where today's videos count, I could do all the way up to there. And that's where I would come in here and I can do 5312 then. And I could do a lot of different things. And I could come in in advance, and I could change this bit rate all the way up there. And that will create more time, more CPU power. Cancel all out and say thank you very much. I appreciate your time, and I hope this MEP 2022 demonstration may help you out. Not many people out there use magics. I use more CyberLink Power Director, a little easier to do things, 
A lot of things are not hidden. Uh, for example, <coughs> I want to look for motion track. I don't know where it's at. I kind of know where it's at. It can be in here. Attach a video. Continue. Select a picture. And go about it. I know it's in there somewhere. It used to be something so simple right up here to get to motion track. It's no longer available. On that note, Closing out with Screen Recorder from Cyberlink Power Director.